I'm loading up my pickup. I'm heading for the ranch. What we're doing is right now, the mule is doing this on her terms. She's just standing there. Uh, she's a little bit swishy tailed. Uh, he needs to get this right hand side to where she responds to him. See that? How the mule just turned his head, looking, respecting her. That's really respecting him. He, this mule likes him. That's really nice. The head was dropped down nice and quiet. If she likes me, why does she keep throwing me off? Because you're not communicating the reason she's throwing you off. Okay, so this right ear right now is saying, come on, come slow. And she doesn't have to turn towards you. She just does that kind of out of respect for you. And she's also trying to sniff you. And that's nice. I like to see that sniffing kind of checking you out. Yeah, oh, I like you. Okay. All right, now, right here, we completely did this on this mule's terms. All right. Yep. Now we're going to move her off. There you go. Head's nice and relaxed. Now step back, and the mule will turn around. Good. You know what's really nice about that? That was her right side. She does not like her right side messed with. Yes. She, she is dominant left. Remember, I was well, telling you we need to work with that. Is. Yes. Okay. Now again. You can approach her, go ahead and approach her and stuff. She's doing it on her terms, you know, which is nice. Notice the difference in the attitude here. Not turning and looking at you, just kind of head was up. What, it, that was really nice on that right hand side because there's no garbage over there. Nothing to have to deal with. Thank you. You really don't want to do anything to, to tell her to go other than use your body. No noises. Use your body. So if you want her to tip towards you, step to the right. Good. All right, now let's move her around to where you can, you can stop her feet when you want her to stop. Don't slap her or anything. Just get after her. Don't touch her. Don't get so close to her hind end. Okay, good. That was good. You could have stopped and kept her that way, but that's okay. Stop her feet when you want her feet to stop. In other words, you're going to step toward her nose. Move her off. Okay, now step. Pick a spot. Step toward her nose. Okay. Step towards her nose. Step toward her nose and a stop. Okay. okay. So move her off. Don't get too close to behind her. <laughs> Throw your hands up. There you go. All right, now step back. There you go. Good. Find a spot. And be careful not to get too close behind her now. Look at, look at her hind end, okay? Now stop there and back up. Okay, that tells her to stay right there in place. Now notice the tail switching. She's upset. See, as soon as you step back, that took the pressure off of her. You stopped her feet. She was getting ready to turn and go to the left. This way here, you stopped her feet on the correct side. Now just wait on her. Wait till her tail gets quiet. Again, we want to get the softness back in. So when the tail gets quiet and the head kind of drops, then kind of work your way toward her according to what her ears say. Right now, her right ear is on you, so her right brain's thinking about you. When the tail kind of gets kind of quiet, just as soon as it gets quiet, even for a second, just make a little step. The tail is saying, I'm a little uncomfortable with you. I don't really like this, you being on my right hand side. But the right ear is saying, what are you thinking about doing? She's kind of paying attention to you with that right brain. So when a tail gets quiet, you make a step or two. But when a tail gets moving, you get quiet. Show her that she doesn't have to have nothing to be worried about. Look at the tail. Look at the tail. Isn't that nice? The tail stayed longer that time. Tail stayed longer. Tail stayed longer. Good. Now a little sweatshirt. Don't pat, rub. Okay. Patting kind of kind of gives them a little bit. Her head elevated as soon as you pat it on her. And her tail's going to switching again. So just kind of always rub in the very beginning, patting later. <coughs> okay, and when the tail gets quiet, move away. Go ahead and step way back and just kind of relax. Let her head drop a little bit. Watch her head. Her head's elevated, she's a little concerned. Her tail's switching, she's a little concerned. So kind of watch her head drop a little bit. And it's gonna be ever so slight. There's some. 
Look at the top of the rail. That'll kind of give you an idea. There's some. some. Yes, tail's quiet. Nice and quiet. Walk on over. Watch the tail. Again, we're trying to build softness. It's not important to put the halter on. It's more important to keep the mule soft. Look how much more softer the animal's staying now. Staying softer, softer, staying softer. Nice and quiet. There you go. Now he's concerned, so let's go ahead and pay him. Give him a little quietness. There you go. Softer, softer. So far better this time. Now some good rub. Just rub. No petting. I understand. It's hard. It's easy to do. Just give him a little rub. Scratch him. Again, you're building softness. You're showing this mule there's nothing to be worried about. This right-hand side needs to be worked with. I would saddle from the right-hand side. I would brush from the right-hand side. Your disposition as you're walking up should be squared-shouldered looking straight ahead. Oh. If, if, yeah, and nice and quiet. Step only according to the head. The head right now, it's got the right ear on you, so the head is saying, come on, but come slow. But the tail is saying, I'm still kind of worried. So you don't have the whole meal thinking about you. You only got the part of the meal. So as soon as the, meal, the mule's tail gets quiet, there, yeah, that head's dropping nice, very nice. But we want the whole meal, not half of the meal. So when that, when that tail's hanging quiet, we're doing good. We want the whole meal. Beautiful. Awesome, awesome. See, the neat thing about this is you're watching the whole animal now. You're not just watching the head. You're getting a feel for the whole animal, you know. Beautiful. And to me, this is more important than riding. You know, this is building a relationship, you know. We'll, we'll get to the riding. There's a whole different relationship on there. There you go. Okay, now stop her feet when you want. Step back. There you go. Now step a little bit to your right, a little bit more. The hip should move around. Slap your leg, slap your leg. There you go, now stop, there you go. Now nice and quiet. Let's watch the tail. Left ear is not really concerned about you at all, but it's still watching you. Watching, we're watching the tail. Want that tail to hang quiet. So now we want the whole animal, you see. If the tail's switching, we only got the front part of the animal thinking it's okay. They're getting some relaxation in the eye now. That's nice. See that eye getting kind of fluffy? Mm -hmm. Quiet. That's nice. Tail's still switching. It's kind of hang loose right there a little minute. Left ear, left eye's really paying attention to you with that left ear. I see the head elevated when you kind of step forward a little bit, but we're working on it. We'll get that better. Petting and scratching. There you are. Nice. This is really nice because you're learning to communicate the mule. And the mule's liking it. Oh, boy, just dropped his head a bunch more right there. Got nice and quiet. You about got the whole animal thinking it's okay. Oh, nice. 